both teams tonight did an amazing job putting on a show. And it was it was fun. Um, I had a great time. I'm sure the other team had a great time. So I'm just happy we won tonight. And then um, just as far as, as the development of, of this team specifically, I mean, you guys are, are so young, but there's such strong signals of, of what could come here mm -hmm. if you continue down, you know, a certain path. Yeah. What do you see uh, the future of this franchise being if you guys continue to progress? Yeah, I mean, I think our team right now is still growing and learning because we are young, but I think we're at the right time and perfect time right now. We're not supposed to be perfect right now. Um, Obviously, we're going to just continue to get better every day and, and find ways to get better every day. And I think we've done a great job. Um, That losing streak definitely spoke a lot for us. Um, Hard times in the locker room, hard conversations in the locker room. But being able to take that, everybody looked in the mirror and figured out what we need to do to get better. And it doesn't stop here. Two-game win streak. We got to keep going. Angel, uh, eighth consecutive double-double today, and also you were the first rookie since 2018 by Asia Wilson, who had 25-plus points and 15-plus rebounds. Oh, what does that mean to you to kind of be, to have your name alongside someone like Asia Wilson? I love Asia. I mean, she she was mentoring me when I was at Maryland, and she's been somebody that I've always tried to model my game after her on and off the court. I just love who she is. Um, so just being able to be name with her is amazing, of course. Um, she's She's been doing a great job, obviously, in the league so far. So I just continue to be able to watch her game and also just add some things to myself. What was said from either coaching staff or what you guys as a team said heading into the fourth quarter? You guys kind of lost on that run and then yeah. you guys came out on your own. What was kind of the energy? What was the conversation? What was all that messaging like heading into the fourth quarter? Yeah, staying poised. I think sometimes we get comfortable. Um, a lot of times we get comfortable. Um, we had a good a good lead for a little minute, and then we got comfortable, and just I felt like we didn't have that much energy. So just staying poised, um, not letting ourselves get down. I think I did a great job being able to bring energy. If it was defensively, if offensively, rebounding, steals, doing whatever to be vocal and help the team. I think my teammates really rely on my energy and being able to be super positive for them. So I just try to always give that every night. Hey, Angel. Hi. Um when you had that moment with Cheryl Swopes after the game, did did she have any particular message for you? And, and just what, what's that like in that moment? I'd rather not share some, but she said she's proud of me. Um, being able to have a legend. I mean, I already being coached by a legend, but being able to have Cheryl Swoops in your corner. She was she talked to me before I even entered my name into the draft. And she told me she believed in me. And no one coming into the league, having somebody that's played in the league, has done great things, has won championships. And being able to have that person in my corner is something that I've always needed. Um, she understands me. She knows what I've been through, what I'm going through. Um, and just being able to have that is just something that it's, it's been super inspiring for me and somebody that's been a great mentor. Thank you. Angel, over here. <laughs> um, you're always a passionate player, of course, mm -hmm. but today seemed or appeared to be a specific emotional release for you. Um, did this game hold any specific or, or additional weight or is it just... No, I'm just hoping. <laughs> I'm from Baltimore. This is what I do. Like I come out and perform. I do whatever it takes to win every single day. This is this is what I love. I love this game. Did today and your performance today specifically kind of foreshadow or give you a taste of what you want to experience consistently in this league moving forward? Yeah, just being consistent. That's the most important thing for me. I was efficient tonight finally. Um I didn't get in foul trouble finally. I got some rebounds. I didn't I mean I turned the ball over three times, but um I'm just getting better. I feel like I'm just getting better. I'm gaining confidence more. I've watched film with Teaspoon. I've watched film with David. He's done a great job with me being able to do player development. He showed me every shot that I've missed, every shot that I missed around the basket. And that's why I've tried to take my time today and finish around the basket. I'm getting in ones and I'm being more efficient. So I just continue to try to grow every game. And lastly, how do you prioritize consistency, consistency over the pressure of perfection? I'm I'm a perfectionist, so it's kind of hard. Um, I'm really hard on myself, and I try to get myself. I I don't try to get myself grace, but I've been trying to get myself grace. My teammates and my coaches have done a great job texting me and telling me like, "You're doing great. You're fine. Like, you're doing a really good job." So having my teammates and my coaches have my back and trying to give me a lot of inspiration because I do have a lot on my plate. I do have a lot going on, and they just being able to reassure me is something that I, I need.